I'm gonna show you how to get a lot of treasure. What you need to do is get very far down in the skull caverns and then drop mega bombs all over the place to quickly gather and explode all the stuffings. Here I did not explode the iridium which was a shame and then quickly go to the next level after you collected everything. And then just throw a bomb down and if you have no space to run, eat a salmon berry. And then gather all the loot and then go to the next floor. Keep doing this until you run out of time and have to go to sleep. If you find mummies, make sure you knock them down and then drop a bomb. Collect the stuff while you wait for it to explode. And as you can see, this floor sucks, so we immediately- Oh my god, a diamond. We have to immediately go to the next level. Inventory full? Crap. Uh, what? So now I go to the next level. And I'm actually gonna eat a spicy eel to increase my speed because I'm almost out of time. And you don't want to get out of time here. And then throw a bomb and eat a berry if you can't go anywhere. So you don't take, take damage from it. Then run to the next level. Look at all the mummies here, you ready? Hit all the mummies. To make sure they don't stand up. Start eating a berry that stops the time. You get solar essences. Get the dwarf scroll number 4 if you don't have it already. And do it again. Try to get to all the iridium before you. If there's many. And then eat a, eat a salmon berry if you can't escape. Collect all the goodies. And you really want to kill the mummies because... Uh, you make mega bombs with solar essence and you can kill many mummies at a time with one bomb. One simple bomb. Some of the mummies are walking while dead. I guess you could say they are the walking dead. <laughs> if you get an area overrun by monsters, then you immediately have to make a staircase because this this is ass. You don't want to fight this. It takes too long. And you want to maximize the iridium you get. Drop a bomb at all the iridiums. There's a sinkhole. You can get the sinkhole too. I recommend doing that every single time. So we go down the sinkhole and try to... Oh no, I have to go quickly down this. This is a very bad area. This is also a bad area. There's no loot here. So I hope you get the way down. Way down quickly. This is really bad. So we make a staircase here. This is that long passage with nothing. So we quickly make a passage down. And you drop a, a bomb here. And eat the berry meanwhile so you don't take damage. Drop another bomb for to protect this iridium. Then get this stuff here. For some reason there was... Oh there it is, the down way down. And you're almost out of time so... This is also very bad, I hate this level so bad it's a very long walk and try to get uh, as much uh, iridium yes and now we have to get home so oh man i want to go down this hole just before oh 15 levels oh man i want to stay longer but the time is running out and when the time runs out you are screwed let's see down here oh uh, okay now this is good and this is how you get many rewards you want to get home before 2 a.m. so you don't fall asleep and as you see i got like 80 iridiums and uh, lots of gold and i can make a many bombs again i used a lot of bombs but i can make like most of them back so this is like an infinite profit run can you believe it and then you go home before you fall asleep like i say oh, because it's not good to lose you lose money then it's 1.30 a.m. which should be good enough to run to bed. Pam, see you later. Thanks for driving me. And that is how you make a... Get a lot of resources. I, I showed you some of my tactics there. Eating a berry to stay alive and... Blowing up many zombies without waking them up and whatever, dude. 